Did you know that your yard waste can be gourmet food for your garden? Well, I'm here in the workshop today with my engineer, Bill Searing. Hello, Kelly. Hello, and uh, did you know that there's a special recipe for compost? I did not know that. <laughs> Is it a recipe that I have to eat? <laughs> not unless you like grass and leaves. <laughs> I am fine on my greens. Okay. Okay, well, so this is our measuring cup. I'd say measuring bucket. <laughs> okay. Go ahead. We have grass clippings. Something people do, they like to bag their grass clippings. Well, we keep those for a compost pile, okay? Sure. And you just spent some time in the yard with the rake, and so yes, you have a I bag did. full. I have some autumn remnants here. <laughs> autumn remnants. And we also have some things that we grabbed out of the vegetable garden. Yep. I have some clipping for some flowers and some not so gourmet tomatoes. <laughs> and another thing that we will need will be a black bag. With our measuring bucket, we are going to use one part of the green stuff. So grass, if you want to fill this all the way up. Grass is full of nitrogen. I'm going to put it in a black bag, Bill. Can you dump it right in here for me? Okay. Here we go. So we had one part nitrogen, and now let's do two parts of your leaves, the brown stuff. Okay. So this could be anything, right, for us it's leaves, but you could also have any kind of yard waste that's more of a carbon. Nice. I raised it when it was uh, wet out, so okay. it's a little moist. That's okay. And actually, we need a little bit of water on it anyway. So there's one. What is compost without tomatoes? <laughs> <laughs> exactly. <laughs> that's not even our special ingredient. <laughs> okay, that's pretty good. There we go. All right, one other special ingredient I want you to add for our pile is I'd like to add a cup or a tablespoon or two of fertilizer. This is just slow release, something we happen to have, and I'm going to dump that in as well. When you combine the nitrogen in the grass, the carbon in the leaves, and a little bit of water and a dash of fertilizer, you are creating the perfect meal prep for those microorganisms to start breaking things down. Add a little heat by storing storing it in a bag and you speed up the composting process. Now Bill, if you could pull that back up there on top of the table for us. Sure. It's heavy, it's heavy. Just tie it in a knot, nice and tight on top. It's gonna take a couple of months for all of these ingredients in this black bag to compost down. I want you to take it out in the yard and we're gonna kick it around the yard four times a year. We're gonna do it at Thanksgiving time. You're just gonna take that black bag, kick it around for a while to tumble the things in, inside. Literally kick it? <laughs> Literally kick it. And then after Christmas, we're going to kick it to the other side of the barn. And then uh, in the spring and March, we'll do that again, kick it back the other way. And then in May, it'll be the final time that we kick that around and then we can open it up and it's going to look like something like this. Beautiful black gold. And this will be something fantastic that we put on the garden for next year. And that's how you get growing. And I'm going to get kicking. <laughs> get out of here. <laughs>